Welcome back to another weapon build video and today we're going to take a look at the Caratinos in my build. Now how do you get this weapon? From the Father and the Necrolist, the Entranti Syndicate. So you need standing of course. To purchase this weapon, you're going to need the two blades and then the two um, gauntlets. So make sure you have that prepared. And make sure you have all the resources for this weapon. Now... Let's jump right into the stats. Attack speed is 0 0.917. Critical chance is 13%. Critical multiplier is 2.1. And the status is 29%. Now, critical chance is decent. Critical multiplier is decent as well. And the status that actually looks pretty good. So, not a bad weapon to start with. Look at the base damage, impact is 79.0, puncture is 45.0, slash is 87.0, and viral. And now it has its own elemental, 33.0 overall, 244 damage. Now, this is actually pretty good. It's own viral, you know, it's own elemental right there. That's actually pretty nice. I like that. Heavy attack, um, damage is 244.0. Times that by seven. Um, slam attack seven hundred nine hundred and seventy six. Slam radio damage nine hundred seventy six as well. Slam radius seven point zero, and the wind up is point eight. So it has a nice um, heavy attack to it. So I'll definitely, I'm gonna show that to you guys. But overall, like I said. Not a bad weapon. This is actually a really good weapon. It does amazing damage. And looking at the slash, also the slash in there, and it's pretty good slash in there. So, as you already know, viral slash, it's already looking perfect as it is right now. So, let's go take a look at my builds. So, here's my first build. This is my setup, and this is the stance mod that I'm using. This is honestly the best stance mod that are, you know, being used for claws. And it honestly does really good strikes and slashes in the um, combo attacks. So really, definitely use this mod. Do not go to any other um, stance mod but this one. So level 150 corrupted heavy gunners. I'm not going to spawn in 20. No. Not going for it. My brain is just not clicking today, guys. I just woke up, so. Like, somebody just commented, you need coffee? Uh, <laughs> man, I try to record these videos at least in the morning or at night and... Both of the times I'm tired, usually I try to record videos when I get off of work also, so, yeah, you're gonna hear me, you're gonna hear me sound really tired, my guy. But look at the amazing damage, of course, I have condition overload in there, so, it's doing really good. Especially that slash that's in there, it is really taking them out. He's just they just flying, I swear. But he's out. She's out also. Not a bad build. Really, really the best build, honestly, on this um configuration. Best build on this configure uh configuration right now. So if you guys wanted a build for a reach. Just saying for all my prime reach people out there, you want to either you can switch Oregon Shatter out for Weeping Wounds and then, you know, keep it Weeping Wounds in there. Put a uh, prime reach in there remove this and place it with Vicious Frost. Just in case if you want a prime reach build, but if you want to keep it like that, as it's already amazing as it is, keep it like that. Now let's jump on to the next build. We have a corrosive build. Here's my setup.
And let's go take a look. I'm not allowed to drink coffee, by the way. I mean, like, if it's decaf, of course, but, um, yeah, I'm not just allowed. I'm just not supposed to be drinking anything that has caffeine in it. So. Really nice damage for the corrosive. It's really doing good also. But I just prefer the viral build. It was just killing them so faster. Um, the slash was doing ama uh, amazing. And really intense slash. So that's why I definitely prefer the slash. And the uh, corro uh, damn, the viral build. <laughs> but also, this one was not a bad build. Amazing, amazing, amazing build. So, yeah. Now I have a gas build, last build, and um, this one I just decided to make out of the blue because, you know, gas just works on corpus, so I decided just to make one. I keep doing that. So this time I have prime reach in here because gas is literally just the easiest thing sometimes. But with this build, it's really going to destroy them. So it took them all out. Like I said, they did amazing damage. They didn't, they didn't even get a chance to pull out these shield drones. So that's a really good thing. Now let's switch back to the Vire Bill and test it on them. So amazing damage. These shield drones weren't in the way. I just swear, like, I don't know what it is, but these shield drones just make them tough. Like, really, really tough. But my viral belt, <clears throat> my viral belt did not stop them. I mean, my viral belt did stop them. What am I talking about? Um, But, yeah, that did not get in the way of that. So really nice build. Got to say. Now, there's one thing I want to show you, and I'm just probably going to do it for the viral build. And that is the heavy attack. Pretty nice. It was saying something about some slash. Thing. Yeah, forget that. Oh, well, it did knock him down. So that's pretty nice. It just literally just knocked down the drones. 
That's nice. That is nice, honestly. So that honestly, you know, really gonna be useful if you're like having trouble. You can really just go up, knock them down, and they're all, you know, just. I can't find the word that I'm looking for. But that is enough. Usually, when you're doing something like this, if you want to use like a heavy attack. You're going to need to build it up first. And what I mean is the combo duration. Just so you could get that orange crits in there or something like that. To do more damage. She literally just flew and died. Yeah, not bad. I mean, eh, whatever. That's all that really matters. Yeah, I forgot. So, if you guys enjoy these three builds, make sure you comment down below. Just make sure you comment down below. If you didn't, please don't. Well, that's the end of this video. Make sure you go pick up the Karatinos. Honestly, a really good weapon. You, like I said, you can get this from the Necrolis. Go to the Father, and he has the blueprint and the parts there. You need to build the blade and the gauntlet twice in order to build it. So make sure you have all the resources as well to build this weapon. A lot of resources you got to farm. But definitely go pick up this weapon. It's a really good weapon. As I showed you guys, does amazing damage. Go pick it up. But that's the end. Thank you guys for watching. Love you guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. And make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, thank you so much for all the support. Thank you. Um, make sure you go follow me on Instagram and Twitter. You guys can always hit me up. Thank you again for watching. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.